Hey Nationers, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new vlog. It's your boy The Real Jeru coming at you from downtown Spokane. Today we're gonna be touring basically where I live, downtown Spokane. Right behind me we have this giant waterfall. This is probably one of the most amazing things I can probably ever look at anytime. Like this thing is mind boggling. It is so amazing. Look at the waterfall. It's super white. Like everything that you love about Spokane is right here. I'm gonna show you guys the entirety of downtown Spokane and show you guys exactly what you guys need to do. And there's cops. <laughs> Sidewalk's closed for a reason. Okay. Just do me a favor when you see stuff like that. Yeah. Over. yeah. You can't get arrested for that. What a way to get the vlog started. <laughs> We're gonna be heading up to the ice skating rink. It's already out of use because there's actually no way that there's ice surviving in this weather right now. But we're gonna be filming it. I wanna show you guys exactly what it is. I have some footage from there. So I guess we can go over to that. It's super funny. Fight. 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 Alrighty Nationers, next up we're gonna go down to the downtown water park slash carousel area. This is all renovated, brand new. And honestly Nationers, what way to do that than actually go there? I mean, that as lame as that sounds, <laughs> we gotta go there to actually go see it, right? That's kind of the whole point. Anyways, Nationers, this is the carousel. I used to go here all the time as a child, but I have actually been here since they remodeled it. So this is all brand new to me. So I'm super excited to actually see this. There's a lot of horses in there, just like the old carousel that used to be there. But for sure, Nationers, this is probably one of the, the greatest things that Spokane has to offer, as well as this tower, which we're going to go next. <laughs> is probably one of the actual staples of Spokane. Anytime you look at Spokane, this is probably what you're gonna see is this giant tower that's sitting right behind me. For real nation, this is, this is one thing that I've cherished for a very long time because it's been here for a very long time and I've seen it probably hundreds of thousands of times it feels like because I see it every time I drive home from college, see it every time I drive to college. So it's very much a staple of Spokane. Where we're going to next is, you can't really see it, but it's over there. We have this amusement park that they actually have in Spokane, downtown, and it's, it's super cool. Let's go check it out. This is the globe. get up this hill holy crap this hill is steadily uh, wanting to kill me but yeah nationers it's starting to rain so we're gonna have to accelerate this just a little bit but that is the uh, the globe I don't really know what to call it it's actually pretty cool they turn on these lights at night which make it like ten times cooler but we got a downhill so I'm gonna prepare myself to die all right nationers just saw some lightning which is actually kind of insane but I definitely prepped for some thunder and lightning today but anyways I hope you guys are having a great day thank you guys so much for taking this journey with me remember to keep loving the life you live and live the life you love every single day I want to keep doing these vlogs for you guys because you guys love them so much but anyways nationers we're gonna be heading over to one of my favorite areas that I used to play on as a kid I'm not about to die to no geese today hi geese Anyways, Nationers, we are at the Red Wagon or the Radio Flyer. This is something that you've probably seen as a kid, maybe in a little wagon that you were sitting in, but we have one here in Spokane. And it's super duper awesome because there's a slide on it. They have a slide on it and you can actually do bung jungle, bungle, bungle, jungle, jungle, bumble, jungle gyms. You do like some like things like you do in gymnastics. Yeah, this is it. This is probably 20 feet tall. I'm like 5'9". Maybe, maybe it's a lot shorter than that actually now I'm thinking about it, but this is really cool. I wish I could actually go on it, but they have these gates, so it's kind of a bummer, but I understand you gotta stop the spread of co-rona virus. I was gonna say COVID-19, but corona, corona, corona. We're gonna keep 
going. I think next I'm gonna go over to the Davenport. This is a hotel in Spokane. One of the coolest hotels that you probably will ever see in a small city like this. But let's go to that right now. It's actually right there. All right, Nationers, it is starting to rain a little bit more every second. So I'm gonna try and stay under these trees, try and stay dry. I wanna get this vlog out for you guys because you guys deserve it. But yes, Nationers, let's keep going. We're gonna go, I think I'm going, I'm going through the FICA Center right now. This is where I graduated. This is what I was talking about, my graduation car video. This is where I graduated. This is where I was, I was taking photos here and whatnot. So this is Spokane, man. This is what I'm telling you. One minute, it's completely, completely dry. The next, it's completely wet. I'm telling you guys, it's crazy. Spokane is probably one of the craziest cities I've ever lived in. And it's like the second city I've lived in, so. Like I was saying, Nationers, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Remember, to love the life you live, live the life you love. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. It's a real Drew signing off. 07, peace. Well, at least the ice ring's starting to fill up. It's starting to rain. It's going to get cold. It's going to start freezing. Maybe we can ice skate after this.